One thing I want to do before moving on, it wasn't done by Danielle, but I just want to kind of add it in because it's one of my favorite little twists. We're going to grab the foot, go across the body, take a deep breath in, and, out. and I kind of step back and pull. I like to give the body a little warm up, so let your leg be heavy, deep breath in. And I actually kind of regret doing this since you have a bad ankle, so I'm only doing it to one side. Might be able to try to hold you in the mid leg, but I don't know how comfortable you'll feel with that. Okay, so after you've kind of warmed it up, I like to come across, take one more deep breath. Put my foot in the QL, and foot, deep breath in. One, one more good breath. Move my foot, deep breath in and out. As I pull up, standing up. Just shake and let the foot down. Now with this leg, is are you sensitive up here? Can I hold you higher? Okay, yeah, obviously being super careful of your calf. We'll see how far we can go with that. Or your ankle is, I mean, yeah, yeah. Take a deep breath in. And ah. Deep breath in, shake that leg out. And ah. Do one more breath in. Let that leg be heavy. Put in a QL and straight up, out. One more deep breath. And nice. Just being aware of your receiver as you lay their foot down. Let's go ahead and flip face up. I don't believe I forgot anything, right? Cool. Ooh, mic down. And that's why we put it on the side. All right, so I like to kind of start with a little warm up. Palm press in the front. Being aware of an injured ankle. So you can do it two ways. You can, well, you can do things many ways, but I'm using my palms along the inner edge of the bone. If you want more pressure, you can thumb press up. That'll be way more specific. You will know your clients that like that kind of pressure versus a more broad pressure. I would guess since Danielle had, doesn't like as much pressure, she would probably be more into the broad. Yeah. Might come up to the knees. Give some little circles. Yeah. And just come. Being aware that there's many muscles crossing paths under your hands, and so this could be a very sensitive area for some. Just being aware of the amount of weight that you are dispersing over their body. Keeping your knees close, not put your back at risk. And I'm kind of like leaning in and shearing out. Kind of pulling the muscles away from the bone. I'm just palming up. I kind of rest at the top and lean my body over just to kind of give a little more opening to the hips. As I begin to palm press down, I'm going to move quicker to get out of this. Typically, I would take my time, give some circle, and come back down towards the feet. And we'll come back to the stuff that Danielle showed us. First round, slide my foot in. I'm going to come in without bringing the sheet. I kind of use my toes to lift as I come in to give the pressure. Using my left foot to give a little bit of torquing. And if you feel like, oh, my foot could be in a better place, you can just kind of shift with your right foot to help your left foot. Being aware that your top of your foot, there is a bone. Some of us are bonier than others. So do be aware that bringing your foot directly in versus out will be a different sensation for your receiver.